here's a few more shots on this gorgeous day of December 5th, 2010. Saying hello from Miami for my bicycle ride right next to the Miami River here. This is Brickell Key. And obviously there's people exercising here, walking, jogging. Lots of people living in these condos, which are all pretty recently built. And uh, it's just a great place to come out and enjoy the waterfront. Very, very scenic, actually. <clears throat> I've been in Miami once before, but never really had a chance to explore the city. That was probably, I would say, maybe 12 years ago. And the city has certainly transformed itself since then. With all these uh, really imposing new high-rise sky uh, skyscraper buildings here. Some developments that have gone up. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous spot. I love the uh, vegetation around here. Everything is so lush and green. Now, Florida has a tropical monsoon climate, and the rainy season actually, which means it's really, really hot and humid with lots of precipitation right in the summer. I think May to September is <clears throat> the most intense rainy period. And then in the winter, it gets a lot drier, not as much rain, and nice and warm. <coughs> Excuse me. So, in the winter, it's a great spot to come and look at this huge yacht here. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive yacht here. Yeah, of course, uh, South Florida is a, a mecca for boat lovers. We just spent about a week or so in uh, Fort Lauderdale, which is called the Venice of the Americas. Very, very popular for boaters. Uh -huh. That's where we are right now. I think this goes all the way around. Here you get a good shot of the cruise ships that are docked here in the Miami Harbor. The world's biggest cruise ship port. I can see right now one, two, three, four, five, six cruise liners. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, pretty astounding. <coughs> So, great spot to bicycle or go jogging. And Sunday morning is actually a perfect time because the city is a lot quieter than usual. One thing I've noticed, I think Florida, of course, makes perfect sense, is a, is a place that's pretty spread out between, uh, you know, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, Miami, all these different places. So people rely on individual transport a lot, which means everybody's in the car. And public transport uh, certainly does exist. I know in Miami here they have the Metro Mover, which is actually a free transport system on elevated tracks uh, through the city. Whoa. Okay. And uh, all the areas have public transit systems, but it seems that 90% of people are traveling individually in cars. Which means the cars, are, uh, the roads are pretty plugged up here. That's one thing I did notice. <clears throat> Coming from Toronto, that actually means a lot because Toronto was recently declared as the city that has the worst commute of about 80 minutes a day on average for the average car commuter. But funny enough, you know, Toronto is really busy in the morning and evening rush hour, but in between, can actually get around pretty easily, whereas I noticed here, no matter what time of day you're driving, oh, look at this, nice, nice statue. Blowing on a conch, beautiful. Let me take a picture of this. So yeah, anyway, traffic is a bit of a hassle, but other than that, it's a gorgeous area. There we go.